GarageBand for iPad and iPhone comes with loads of great sounding instruments. From realistic strings to dozens of unique drum kits and even an entire previously standalone synthesizer. But did you know that you can easily create and save your own instrument sounds? This video is going to focus on GarageBand for iOS. If you're wondering how to do this on GarageBand for Mac, I'll link a video on how to do that down below the like button. I'll take you through how this works step by step and then at the end also show how you can use this method to create and save your own audio patches as well. So what we're essentially doing here is taking an existing instrument patch, stripping out or editing all of the plugins and or built in effects that it has applied to it, tweaking that basic stripped back sound if needed, then adding other plugins or third party AUV3 apps you may have installed on your iOS device to add to the sound of our new instrument. Then we're going to save it as a custom patch so it can be used in any future projects. All right then, I'll start off with the strings. There are four different strings presets available in GarageBand, but all they really do is add some extra reverb to individual instruments. So I'll just leave the default option selected. By opening the track options, I can access and turn off the global reverb and global echo controls. I can also access the four available plugin slots for this track via the plugins and EQ menu. The compressor and visual EQ cannot be deleted, though I don't need to turn them on unless they're needed. First off, I want to add a third party AUV3 app that I have installed on my iPad to really change how the basic instrument sounds. I'm going to load up Bleece Shimmer here. It's one of my absolute favourite apps ever, and it's really great for adding a unique twist to pretty much anything you add it to. Next, I want to add some additional reverb. Now, GarageBand's stock reverb is okay, but it's maybe a little bit basic. A great free alternative is AudioKit's Rack Reverb. It's completely free and mimics the reverb algorithm used by Valhalla DSP, creators of the incredible Valhalla Supermassive. Finally, I want to fill out the sound a little bit, make it feel a little fatter maybe, so I'll throw on a chorus plugin. Again, GarageBand has a good stock chorus plugin, but I want something with a little bit more character. So I'll add on Baby Audio's Magic Switch. There's nothing much to tweak here, just turn it on and adjust the mix slider, but it does sound awesome. Now that I have my new weird violin instrument sound created, I need to save it. If I tap to open the instrument window, I can tap on save in the top of the menu. Next, I need to give my instrument patch a name. And that's it, my instrument will now be available for use in the custom submenu of the instrument menu whenever I want to use it. You can also use this exact same method to create audio track templates. For example, I have this great sounding guitar track in this project. If I want to keep the exact setup, settings and plugins for use in other projects. Again, I just need to open the menu, hit save, 
name the patch, and it'll be available in the custom sub menu in the audio recorder patch menu whenever I need it. GarageBand makes this process really easy, and it's a great way to add a bit of your own unique personality to its existing instruments. Another way to make your GarageBand songs stand out is to build them using what is probably GarageBand for iOS's most underrated feature. Watch this next for more info on how it works.